A very good morning to all. Looking at important headlines from the Hindu newspaper for 5th November. On the front page you have saying RCP will hurt farmers, India walks out. Prime Minister Narendra Modi said that his conscience does not permit him to sign the free trade agreement. So this is what he stated at the Asian summit where RCP is being negotiated uh, at, in Thailand, in Bangkok. So India has pulled out at the last minute. So there are 10 member ASEAN and 6 nations which were part of the grouping except India. Everyone else is ready to sign the FTA which is called Regional Comprehensive Economic Partnership Agreement. So it would hurt farmers, businesses, workers and consumers. India already had concerns about uh, the FTA resulting in Chinese goods uh, you know, uh, flooding the Indian markets because uh, all other nations have FTA with China except India. So, India had this concern too. So, finally it has opted out. And this is end stubble burning immediately, orders Supreme Court. So, Supreme Court has now ordered that states of Punjab, Haryana and Uttar Pradesh should immediately stop instances of stubble burning. So, you know, everybody from the chief secretary to the local policeman is responsible if even one instance of stubble burning occurs in the future. So, this is what has been stated by the Supreme Court. And below you have compensators, don't treat us as criminals. So, this is in the same context of stubble burning. Farmers in parts of Haryana, they deny stubble burning but suggest monetizing field clearing. So, it is costly for them if they don't burn the stubble. So, they should be compensated for this. 50% compensation has been provided. But then farmers uh, are not ready to uh, spend that much amount on clearing waste too. On page 9 you have Supreme Court questions Delhi's odd even scheme. So it says what is the point of banning cars with certain numbers when one third rate autos, taxis ply the roads. So uh, public transportation vehicles are not banned. So one third of those are there. Even two wheelers are allowed. So, a huge number of vehicles are already part of the traffic. So, what is the point of having this ban is the question being raised when there are so many exemptions. Then below you have CGI to get post-retirement facilities in Guwahati. So, Guwahati High Court has approved a proposal to provide some facilities for Chief Justice of India Ranjan Gagoi and his wife after his retirement on November 17. So, these facilities include a private secretary for the couple to look after their day-to-day -day requirements and coordinate with the registry for any protocol related requirements. A chauffeur driven vehicle belonging to high court for use on fuel basis. So, you know, other facilities are providing grade for fuel, a bungalow pune and a nodal officer to be identified for the registry to coordinate with private secretary. So, all these would be provided. The Guwahati High Court has approved it. The court comprising of 17 judges headed by the Guwahati High Court Chief Justice met on October 30 to consider this resolution for providing services to the retiring Chief Justice of India. So it said that considering the unique accomplishment of Mr. Gogoi, the court is agreeing to provide these services after his retirement as an institutional courtesy. Then here you have Cyclone Funny Victims Petition Lokayukta. So, people affected by Cyclone Fani have thronged offices of Orisha Lokayukta and they are alleging that they were yet to receive house assistance, house building assistance even after 6 months. So, these are more than 100 people and they are seeking intervention from the Lokayukta. So, they say that they are being deprived of assistance on grounds of political affiliations. On the editorial page, the first editorial is String of Deaths. So, these are regarding synthetic kite strings. So, there are laws preventing to use them but enforcement is lacking and that results in deaths. You know? So, it, it endangers human lives and is making a mockery of multiple bans on its manufacture and sale. The three-year-old child in Chennai also died recently when the man just slit his neck while he was driving on a motorcycle. And here you have clearing the air regarding Delhi's pollution levels. It says tackling Delhi's pollution needs tough, unpopular measures well ahead of winter. And the lead article is a rights-based framework to theorize poverty. 
so debates on deprivation need to be grounded in the language of equality opportunity and justice so we have to you know, tackle poverty and for that what is required is mentioned here you can see there is a need for equality opportunity to be provided to the underprivileged and justice and then here you have fusing traditional medicine with the modern so it is taking cues from chinese experience india can integrate the education research and practice of both systems so how traditional system of medicine can be infused with uh, you know uh, can be fused with uh, modern systems of medicine so integrating the two so china has also undertaken such initiative so you can see it is interesting to note that while china embarked upon the path in the 1950s a solid road map to address the above challenges still failed to translate political rhetoric in india but how to merge the two so china has integrated traditional chinese medicine with western medicine so we have ayush with us that is ayurveda yoga yunani siddha and homeopathy yoga and naturopathy come together so this ayush is a indian traditional medicine system and we have allopathic medicines which are modern medicine systems but the way the integration is so has been sought by the government earlier has resulted in controversies so so how to go about with it is important so this article is important then here on opet page you have kerala's modernity and its discontents so this is regarding the marudu building complex which the supreme court has asked to be raised down because it is very close to the yeah, it is actually violating crz norms postal regulation zone norms but uh, house owners they are petitioning the government uh, pe petitioning the supreme court so such issues of you know, gross violations they show that the state kerala has lost its quest for freedom equity and rationality and here you have enhancing insurance coverage for bank deposits so we had seen this earlier too in the context of punjab and maharashtra cooperative bank when there was a cap put on how much deposits can be withdrawn so people have rights over their hard earned money and denying it is a colossal hazard for the financial system so there is a need for enhancing the insurance coverage so insurance coverage which is there for any deposit which is there means if the banks are not able to uh, or the bank collapses then the deposit insurance and credit guarantee corporation which is a subsidiary of rbi provides an insurance on the on the account up at rupees 1 lakh so this insurance limit of 1 lakh was set in 1993 and it has not been raised since then so a demand now has been made and here also case has been made that this insurance coverage for bank deposits should be enhanced means even if you have crore of rupees what is insured is only 1 lakh then this is refusing to bite the bullet so this is regarding india refusing to join the rcp so the article says that this would help would, would have uh, rcp would have helped india integrate with asian trade asian trade regionalism but then this is the decision which has been taken presently they have opted out on page 12 you have up man killed in srinagar blast so in srinagar again a blast took place in which 41 people have been injured and militants this time targeted shoppers in crowded commercial hub so this is a security personnel injured as well so despite many still been under detention and so much security in kashmir valley such attacks still continue and this is pakistan skips opening session of sco joint exercise so this is regarding shanghai cooperation organization so pakistan did not participate in the inaugural session of sco joint exercise on urban earthquake and rescue in delhi so exercise was conducted in delhi sco comprises of china russia the former soviet union nations like uh, you know uh, kazakhstan kyrgyzstan uzbekistan turkmenistan and also uh, india and pakistan which are the la latest entrants on page 13 you have india russia to conclude mutual logistics agreement so defense minister rajnath singh is going to visit moscow 
and India Russia, and Russia are expected to conclude a mutual logistics agreement and review the setting up of joint ventures for manufacturing spares for Russian defense platforms in India. So this is expected. You can see agreement on reciprocal logistics support (ARLS) is what is expected to be signed. On international page, you have Iran announces latest nuclear deal violations. So, Iran has announced its latest violations of the nuclear deal with world powers, saying that it is now operating twice as many advanced centrifuges banned by the 2015 accord. And it is said that it says it is working on a prototype that's 50 times faster than those allowed by the deal. So, uh, Iran now marks 40th anniversary of the 1979 US embassy takeover that started a 444 day hostage crisis. So, so now this is the action being taken. US has already sanctioned members of Iranian Supreme Leader to, and you know, his inner circle as such, but uh, Supreme Leader's inner circle. Uh, it has imposed bans and restrictions, but Iran continues to, you know, undertake deal violations because US had withdrawn from the Iran nuclear deal. Other news items are continuation of news which we have been seeing regarding Pakistan protests, protests in Iraq, protests in Lebanon. So, we have already protests in Hong Kong, we have already discussed all these. Saudi Arabia to repression has increased, is uh, is not new, it's a new news we have already seen. And this also we have seen earlier, Turkey has decided to send back Islamic State prisoners. This is a news regarding 41 migrants found alive in a truck in Greece. So, earlier we had seen how 39 bodies, all believed to be Vietnamese migrants, were discovered in the back of a refrigerated truck in London. So, this had resulted raised questions about the way migrants are being sent to European countries. In refrigerated trucks, they have been you know, transported. So, another case, a truck in Greece has been found. There were 41 migrants in refrigerated truck. A truck is supposed to carry refrigerated items in which migrants were being transported. So, this means that, uh, you know, to hide, you know, illegally migrating, they hide themselves in refrigerators, you can imagine. So, these are refrigerated trucks in which they were trans being transported. On business page, you have no prima facie evidence in whistleblower claim. So, this is what Infosys finding says that, uh, you know, the, uh, the complaints which have come from anonymous whistleblowers against the management of Infosys has no prima facie evidence. So, uh, this is the conclusion of the investigation which they undertook. And uh, other news items are uh, sector related. So, you can, you know, particular company related, you can skip them. So, that is it. The last page has no news. So, these are the important headlines. For detailed coverage of current affairs, you can visit our website ahr.com. Thank you.